Welcome to Disney Village Paris Camp. So yeah, I had a fantastic first full day yesterday. It was just incredible. I did so many rides, got so many great photos. Excuse me. So many highlights. Um, oh, excuse me. Just eating breakfast, I'm a bit full. Uh, <coughs> so one of the biggest highlights of the day was probably meeting Cinderella. That was just a great character interaction. I mean, I had to wait a good hour at least, but it was worth it. She was also an American princess, so that was pretty, pretty awesome. Um, another highlight for me would definitely be the evening when I met up with Hannah and Natalie, which was um, just by chance. That was really, really good fun. I think the only reason we got speaking was because I actually asked them, um, I think it was what time the evening show was starting, because I missed it the night before. Star Tours together. It's great fun. But we had a bit of a funny instant on Star Tours because the three of us were sat together in the row. I was on the end and um, they told you to plug in your safety belt, so I did. And the first time it worked fine. And the lady said, Oh, um, it's not showing up on the screen. So I was like, Oh, okay. So she said, Plug in again, which I did. And um, she did the safety check. She said, Pull on the tags for everyone. And what happens, I pulled on the tag and hit. Oh no, it's broken. So um, she said the three of us had to get off and get on the next um, ride. Luckily, we got to the, fir the front of the queue because of what happened. But I made I made all the English people in the um, in like the car laugh because um, as I was leaving, I said to us, I said out loud, um, I think I broke the ship. <laughs> everyone, everyone was laughing. It's just funny. <laughs> it's really funny. But oh yeah, we did that. Then we, um, what did we do? We went to watch Illuminations. I think we just missed the start of it. Still haven't seen the start of it yet. But what an incredible show. Pretty emotional too. But it's really funny because, um, of course they have let it go in the show, but it's sung in French. But the three of us were there bet on it out, you know, in English, going, you let it go, you know. Oh, it was great, great fun. But I think the last thing we did was um, the three of us went for a drink at Cafe Fantasia, which is one of the really, really stunning bars at the Disneyland Hotel. 
So that's um, that's the first bar down in my um, Disney bar crawl. <laughs> but no, yeah, it was really stunning in there. And also tried um, another Glotini. This time I had the blue one. And I would say the blue one was nicer. It's a lot nicer actually. I mean, don't get me wrong, the red one was nice, but the blue one was even more stunning. Yeah, that was nice. But I was, it was just so, so lovely bumping into these two girls because just had so much in common. Not just Disney though, like other things as well. It was just, it was just really nice. But that's, that's, the, that's the thing with me on this trip. I've, I seem to have plucked up so much courage I'm just talking to like random people. I mean, of course, I'm making sure I hear them speaking English first. So I can't speak hardly any French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. No. Bonjour. Bonsoir. That's about it. <laughs> <clears throat> I've struck up a few conversations actually with some of the French cast members. Because I have... I have actually been trying to learn a few phrases and I've... I've said this to them and they're like, oh no, you know, we appreciate the effort and all that. Which I think is nice because obviously a lot of... A lot of the Brits don't really make an effort when they come here, you know, to speak the language. Which I do think is kind of unfair. Because you have to remember, you know, we are in their country. At least make an effort, at least say hello in French, you know. It's not difficult. But what am I going to do today? Well, what I actually want to do is try and watch all of the parades today. Because I've missed so many of them. Like I said yesterday, I only saw the um, Stormtrooper march and that was pretty much it. I was going to watch the other Star Wars show after that, but I started chucking out of rain, so I had to run, run in. But I want to see the new, the two new parades in Disneyland Park too. Again, the big one was rained off. Yeah, it was a shame, but I think the weather's supposed to be a lot better today. So fingers crossed. And also want to meet a lot of characters today. I mean, I've got a lot of good photos already on my photo pass, but. I want to get a lot more this time. And also on my own camera too. I've also seen they're doing the meet and greet for um, Jack Sparrow, so I've got to do that. I love Captain Jack and his rum. Why oh, is the rum always gone? Where is the rum? That's right, we're just doing random Disney. Not very well. So what I will do, I will catch up with you all once I'm in the park. Hi guys, I'm here in Main Street USA yet again and it's absolutely baking hot right now. I think I've already got a sunburn on the back of my neck. So, but yeah, I didn't put any sun cream on this morning because it was quite chilly when I left. And like I said, the weather here has been so unpredictable you can't, you can't really work it out. But when I spoke to Natasha in the shop earlier, she said that um, 
I think tomorrow and Friday are supposed to be baking hot like it is now, so I'll definitely be putting some sun cream on in the morning and later in the day, that's for sure. And since we, since I last spoke to you all, I am um, I got well I went to Walt Disney Studios wondering if I might see some random characters out about. And lucky me, I met Princess Aurora and Prince Philip. Happy days. Princess of Aurora is definitely one of my favourites. Um, I do love Sleeping Beauty. And um, the Princess Aurora I met was absolutely stunning. <laughs> well, to be fair, all of the princesses I've met. So I mean I've met um, met Cinderella. And I met Belle and Aurora, and all three of them have been gorgeous. But, uh, sadly, they're all taken by the princes, aren't they? So, I need to find Queen Elsa. I'd definitely be her king. <laughs> uh, such a beautiful day here. Do you want to see a shot of the castle? I'm going to try and keep in the shade a bit more, so I'm trying to debate what to go on. I was thinking I could queue up at the Princess Pavilion, because I know that's normally quite big queues. Mind you, if it's over, if it's over like an hour, I don't think I will. But it depends who's in there as well, because I don't really want to meet the ones I've already met. It'd be nice to meet Ariel, I've never met Ariel. Or, um, who else? I haven't met Princess Tiana either. Um, who else? I think that's it. Oh, I'm so glad I met Cinderella yesterday though, because that was my first time ever meeting her. And like I said, she was, she was a dominant. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, still smitten. <laughs> so, I find myself walking into Frontierland. Might do the, might do Phantom Manor. Oh, I was going to call it Haunted Mansion then. I'm in the wrong, wrong park. <laughs> now, a, lot, a lot of people do call it Haunted Mansion. But no, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do it depending on the queues. We'll see what see what happens. Hi guys, as you can see from the large crowds all leaving at the same time, I've just seen the new stars on parade. For the first time in forever. Nah, I thought that was really good fun. Um song-wise I think I'll probably prefer magic everywhere, but you know this one might be a grower. Well I'm not sure if this is just for the 25th anniversary celebrations, they could maybe do another one afterwards, another parade, but no, I thought it was really good. So I'm now off to Billy Bob's to get my dinner, and I have my reservation, so there's no excuses for not getting the table this time. So yeah, looking forward to going back there. But no, yeah, that parade was really good fun. Bienvenue à l'étincelante valse des princesses.
Gracias.